In about 8 billion years, our sun will end its life in a flashy way. Instead of supernova, once all the helium disappears, the force of gravity will take over and the sun will shrink into a white drop. All the outer material will dissipate, leaving behind a planetary nebula. Till then, if we didn't extinct ourselves, how we are gonna survive this event? First option is to become interstitial species. If humanity survives such a long time span, it's pretty sure that we will achieve the technology to move on another planet. Warp drive is one of them. We have already made video on it. But what if we can't? The only option remaining is to move the entire earth. Sounds crazy, right? In movies, it seems pretty cool to see such things happen. But in real life, the things are very flashy. We have actually already been moving the Earth from its orbit. Every time a probe leaves the Earth or another planet, it imparts small impulse on the Earth in the opposite direction similar to the recoil of a gun. Luckily for us, but unfortunately for the purpose of moving the Earth, this effect is incredibly small. SpaceX Falcon Heavy is the most capable launch vehicle today. We would need 300 billion billion launches at full capacity in order to achieve the orbital change to the Mars. The material making up all these rockets would be equivalent to the 85% of the Earth, leaving only 15% of Earth in Mars orbit. An electric thruster is the most efficient way to accelerate Mars, in particular ion drives which work by firing a steam of charged particles that propel the vessel forward. We could point and fire an electric thrusters in trailing direction of Earth's orbit. The oversized thrusters should be 1000 km above the sea level beyond the Earth's atmosphere, but solidly attached to the Earth with a rigid beam to transmit the pushing force. With an ion beam fired at 40 km per second in the right direction, we would still need 30% mass of Earth in ions to move the remaining 87%. As light carries momentum but no mass, we may also be able to continuously power a focused light beam, such as laser. The required power will be collected from the Sun and no Earth mass will be consumed. But light can also be reflected directly from the Sun to Earth using a solar cell station next to the Earth. Researchers have shown that it would need a reflective disk 19 times bigger than the Earth's diameter to achieve the orbital change over a time scale of 1 billion years. A well-known technique for two orbiting bodies to change momentum and change their velocity is with a closed passage or gravitational slingshot. This type of maneuver has been extensively used by interplanetary probes. Consequently, the Earth received an opposite and equal impulse, although this did not have any measurable effect due to Earth's mass. But what if we could perform a slingshot using something much more massive than a spacecraft? Asteroids can certainly be redirected by the Earth, and while the mutual effect on Earth's orbit would be tiny, this action can be repeated numerous times to ultimately achieve a considerable orbital change. All the options available using multiple asteroid slingshot seems the most achievable right now. But in future, exploiting light might be the key 